And I want to go to Ty Cobb now, the former Trump White House lawyer. So Ty, you know, you, you, you hear what happened today uh, and, and the way Andrea described it, that Trump as the spectator was sitting there, no one could look at him, he couldn't do anything. Uh, he had to sit there all day and listen to a lecture on gap accounting, all to get in front of that camera uh, for those few moments when he came out and say, well, I should be in Iowa. And now he's gonna take the stand on Monday uh, again uh, for, the, for the, this is now gonna be uh, again, because he did testify last month. It was nearly four hours. Uh, that he testified last time. At one point, he said, it is a terrible, terrible thing you've done. You believe this political hack back there, and that's unfortunate. So now he goes back on the stand on Monday. How do you think this is going to go, Ty? Well, first of all, Aaron, I would say, um, nice to be with you. Thanks for having me <laughs> on. Uh, that I'm not sure he will testify. I, I'd, I'd say it's hmm. still 50-50, because as, as a, the lawyer in me says you know, why put him on? I mean, he's going to be subject to an eviscerating cross-examination, which won't focus on, you know, what Trump wants to talk about. It'll focus on every lie that he has told, you know, in the 10 years that are relevant under these financial statements. Um, and as we know, I mean, he told several more whoppers on the steps of the court today. Uh, there's a lot of material to work with. Um, so I think a talented, skillful, you know, prosecutor, uh, could cross-examine him in a way that would just eviscerate him. Uh, on the other hand, that's the legal. That's the legal side. As as you all were discussing correctly, this really isn't legal anymore because it, it's it's clear that his assets were inflated. It's clear that there are multiple misstatements, misrepresentations, um, and lies on the on the numbers that were provided. Uh, and that's all the statute. The statute doesn't talk about gap accounting. The statute doesn't talk about materiality. The statute just says misrepresentations and omissions, even without a materiality standard. Uh, so that's that's why the judge was able to rule in advance of trial that Trump was Trump was guilty uh, of of fraud and and subject to penalties. Um, and this is this is really more about you know the disgorgement, the amount um, of money that Trump will have will have to pay. So. There, there's there is nothing that Trump said on the courthouse steps today, you know, that's true other than, you know, I'm proud, I'm happy to be here because he had a free microphone, which he wouldn't have had in Iowa or he wouldn't have had in New England. Mm -hmm. Well, and then that makes him look like everybody else that's running. Right. Which he obviously doesn't want to do because he could have been at the debate. He could be in Iowa there. He purposely seems, seems to avoid uh, where they are. Uh, but when you talk about how this all comes down to what the amount of disgorgement will be, how much money Trump will have to pay, and of course, whether, whether he'd be able to do business again in the way he defines it, uh, how significant, how big do you think that, that number could be, given what you've seen thus far? Well, she's asked for $250 million. Uh, I think the evidence, you know, the most compelling evidence on damages so far is that was the evidence that uh, came in that suggested that uh, the Trump Organization had saved $168 million uh, or received the benefit of $168 million it would not have otherwise been entitled to uh, because of the uh, uh, documents mm. provided. So I, I think that's I think $168 million is in evidence. I'm not sure what our additional arguments will be made to enhance that figure. Um, and then, you know, the, the real risk is, of course, the the uh, the possibility of losing uh, the ability to do business in New York, uh, which, as as we know, the Court of Appeals t today said, um, you know, they were going to reserve decision on that until until they considered the entire appeal, which is yeah. which is the ordinary process. And frankly, the way it should be done, uh, it's being treated by Trump courts as a giant victory. But really, it's it's sort of the only way the case could have proceeded. All right. Ty, thank you. My pleasure. Great to be with you.